Oh baby. Oh boy. We are standing in front of the Scandinavia house. We are on the, I guess this is the Upper East Side. We're on Park Avenue 37. It's yeah. not exactly Upper East, more like Midtown East. Looks like we made it. <laughs> Why we're here is we're actually gonna take part of a panel discussion after a really cool movie that's part of the Kicking and Screening Film Festival. That's right, so it's called, the, the film is called The 90 Minute War. Yeah, it's uh, a comedy. It's a comedy about uh, how soccer will help heal uh, the Middle East crisis. <laughs> yeah. So we got some cool people that are gonna be here. We got some cool people that are gonna be here. We're gonna be doing a little Q and A afterwards. It's an absolute honor for us. Hopefully the movie's good. <laughs> uh, I believe it will be. And if not, that's why we come in. Two dabs up. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Let's go inside and see what this movie's all about. All right. The Euro Cup? Well, yeah, well, of course you are. <laughs> Get out of here. We don't need that. I mean, this guy is too. Of course. Yeah, we're on the same page. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can have that. That doesn't mean you can't make a much bigger version of that. I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, get a photo of this so we can put like a bubble saying, like, I love the cool. Okay. <laughs> Damn good cheese, that is okay. <laughs> this is like rock hard. So it's rock panty, dude. I can't even... Just bite it, man. <laughs> Tonight's film is uh, a little bit of a departure. We don't usually do comedies, but uh, tonight is all about um, trying to like, have some fun. After the film, we're gonna have a panel discussion up here um, with the Cooligans who are in the back wearing the Cooligan shirts and talking for themselves. Um, who are uh, a couple of comedians here in New York, uh, Christian Polanco and Alexis Guerreros, who um, are the only soccer comedians that I know of. Are there others? Have you cornered the market? There you go. <laughs> how this all started, how the Cooligans became a thing. I guess, I guess it all started with, I've been a soccer fan my entire life. Uh, Christian's been a soccer fan for a long time. Uh, we have both wanted a local team. Um, no offense to the Red Bulls, but we live in New York City, so it's kind of hard to get to Jersey. So for us, even though I'm... All right, well, I mean, it's not for everybody, okay? <laughs> we decided that it was just as important for us to support uh, MLS and a local team, so we got season tickets, and uh, we were kind of, you know, we're both comedians. I've been a comedian for just about 10 years now, and. It's hard for us to talk without trying to be funny. So we were doing that and everyone around us was laughing. So we're like, hey, why don't we do this with microphones and in front of a camera and see what happens. And apparently it's working out. I mean, yeah, we're, right here. we're at the kicking a screen. Yeah. Film yeah. So some, we're doing something right. We couldn't even afford tickets to this thing like five years ago. So here we are, it was pretty great. <laughs> and then, then he introduced me to FIFA, the video games. And then once I started playing the game, I became obsessed with the sport. And that's yeah. it. It is amazing. We talked about this a little bit last night in our panel, actually, about how FIFA is sort of a like gateway drug. It really is. Yeah. Soccer. Yeah. 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 He also introduced me to drugs too. So that was yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, that was yeah. Pretty, uh, <laughs> so that was also a gateway drug. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's kicked the heroin habit though. Round of applause yeah. for us. <laughs> no, so you guys started um, making videos about sort of soccer and comedy and bringing it all together. And yeah. This, Part of it was that you mentioned, and we talked about this, uh, Greg was a guest on our podcast, and um, we talked about how a lot of times, especially in American soccer, comedy isn't like a real big part of it. Like in Europe, sort of um, banter is a big part of the sport, and here it just wasn't. And that just didn't exist, and we wanted that. And we're like, well, then we'll just do it ourselves. You know, be the change you want to see in this world, you know? <laughs> and it's, but it's, uh, it is a thing, especially coming from, you know, we perform at comedy clubs all the time. When we're in comedy green rooms, it's all that's all we do. We just make fun of each other. We roast each other. Yeah, and even when, when we walked in, we were talking to the, the, the Red Bull staff over there. They were like, oh, seven, nine, seven, zero. Yeah. Uh, so they just keep reminding. But that's, you know, that's that, fun. That kind of stuff is fun. And you love hearing that. One of the things you have been doing is you've been taking other comedians to games or other people that you know from your community. To yeah. Games. Now, what is that experience when you take someone who's not of the soccer hill or, you know, a, a freak like us, if you will, right? and you take them to a game? How does that all play out? And, and what are some of the moments that you, that you come to mind? Well, I, I would say the even before we even bring anyone to a game, since we've started uh, bringing people to games, and specifically MLS matches, uh, there's been this, I mean, maybe it's, 
I don't know if, I, I, exactly how to describe it. Maybe it's like a little bit of jealousy. After comedy shows, other comedians are like, oh, you took this guy? You know, what about? Right. Yeah, what we're, we're not friends anymore. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that, just that in itself, I think uh, helps the, just gauge some interest. Just seeing other people do it, seeing other people, whatever, smile in their Facebook photos after somebody scored a goal. Uh, things like that get people more uh, sort of engaged in, in what we're doing. Supporter culture is something that I don't think anyone's prepared for. Right. If you're not used to sitting with a bunch of crazy people that should be in cages, you know, that are out for 90 minutes just chanting smoke bombs, not, well, not so much anymore, but smoke, you know, <laughs> flags, <laughs> waving flags. Everyone's like standing for all 90 minutes. MLS is something that we have that's our own. I want to help grow it because you know, why not? Why wouldn't I? I want to be a part of that history. And that's cool, but then they're like, oh, I want the US men's national team to do well. I'm like, well, then you know how that starts, right? Like, if you want a good dinner, you got to go get good ingredients. You know what I mean? Like, you got to start somewhere. Like, be a fan of the league here. From a selfish point of view, I've never uh, uh, been so passionate about uh, uh, any sport in general. So, thank God uh, you said sport because your girlfriend's in the room. Right? Okay, that's right. <laughs> yeah, she was. Uh, I'm not passionate about anything as much as I. Okay. <laughs> I was a little concerned. We had we hadn't even been dating very long, but it was like cramped and uncomfortable. Uh, you know, in the middle of summer, and uh, you know, when the you when uh, was Jermaine Jones I think, yeah, scored yeah. the goal. The place went nuts, beer fell in her hair, and I'm like, this relationship is not gonna last. Uh, <laughs> Soccer is like the first sport that I felt like actually hurt my feelings. You know, when like Landon Donovan scored that uh, that goal Algeria. against Algeria. Oh my I God. lost my mind. I was yeah. jumping on my bed. Like no a soccer fan needed Cialis that night. You know what I mean? It was just so, uh, you felt great, you know? Good point. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for making everybody think of that. I saw a guy in a, in a NYCFC hat and I was like, NYCFC, baby. And he's like, what? I'm like, the hat. He goes, oh, my girl got it for me. I'm like, goodbye. It's great talk. Go see the team. Yeah, we, we, for, we forget that these are still New Yorkers yeah. that don't want to be talked to. So it's yeah. like, <laughs> I couldn't really wear Arsenal jerseys because it's all red. It's kind of a gang territory uh, where I grew up. So I would tell my mother, my mother was like, why don't you wear the jerseys? You spent a lot of money for it. I'm like, I don't want people to think I'm in a gang. And my mom's like, no one thinks you're in a gang. <laughs> but we, we put so much uh, time and effort, you know, like uh, we edit uh, our videos, we film stuff. Uh, uh, Kirby, who's a camera dude, he's a- uh, Round of applause for Kirby. Kirby. He works he's really like, hard. Helped us uh, a lot. And yeah, we painted a wall in his apartment green and realized we don't know how to use a green screen. We just painted a green. So, yeah. We learned. We learned. We learned a lot of stuff. But we painted the whole wall and we're like, huh, what do we do now? Thank you for joining us. I, I really, really appreciate what you guys are doing because um, I think mean, there's so many different ways for us to grow this game. Yeah. And you guys have found a unique way and one that I think we should continue to grow. And I think I hope everyone here will support it. But it's awesome. That'd be great. Thank, yeah. you, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we did it. Thank you so much, Einstock, for the wonderful. What is this Arctic Pale Ale? I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if it's it's, it's great, but let's find out. Okay. It's actually pretty great. Um, I feel like thunderclapping. It's great. You guys know who this is. This is Greg Lalas. Uh, he pretty much runs everything for MLS. Uh, you're also <laughs> part of. <laughs> I mean, he's like he's like Don Garber. He's Don Garber's boss. Uh, no, uh, but you also. <laughs> it's been going very well, and uh, second night tonight was really fantastic. And we want to thank you guys for coming out. Oh, thank you so much. You it was an do. honor to be a part yeah, of it. Thank you so much for the invite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, obviously, uh, comment, like, subscribe. What do you say? That? Comment, like, subscribe. Comment and like and subscribe. I mean, you know what to do, guys. Check it out. Check out our YouTube, but obviously, check out MLS's uh, YouTube. YouTube channel, they're putting a lot of great content on there. It's not nearly as entertaining as ours, but it's good content nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, they're trying, yeah, they're trying really hard. Guys, check it out. <laughs> I make sure, I make sure you check out, works. check out Kicking and Screening. Go to kickingandscreening.com. They do a festival every single year, uh, and they do great films. We just saw a great film called 90 Minute War. It was incredible. Uh, so make sure you support that film yeah. festival. And if you're watching it the morning that this video is released, which is Friday morning, there's still one more film. Uh, uh, so check it out and use uh, the promo code Cooligans and you can get a discount. There you go. To come to that film. Do it. Check All it out, right, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we're out, out here at the Kick and Screaming Screaming Film Festival. Not screaming. Screaming. We're becoming not best friends with everyone, whether they like it or not. <laughs> Peace, guys. <laughs>